Hello, I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley with the Open to Hope Foundation, and today I'm interviewing Susan Rice. Hi, Susan. Hi. Now, Susan is a nurse like I am, and uh, we were talking about the fact that uh, she works at a center where people are, have losses themselves, and uh, even though they're helping people, tell us about the center where you work. The Douglas Center for Hope and Healing in Gardnerville, Nevada. And like Heidi and I, she works with her daughter, which is very exciting and nourishing. And she also had a child die early, right? Yes, I lost my 37-year-old son, Joshua, three years ago. And when it hits home, it's a different feeling, a different situation than when you work with it. Absolutely. Well, um, when you uh, have a loss and you're working in the field, there's really a lot of burnout and, and surprises, right? Yes, and I think everybody needs to stop and take a deep breath and be patient with yourself because these stages of grief aren't something that just goes away after the service. Mm -hmm. And the friends are there for you during that time, but later on you, you experience the anger the shock and you just feel alone and these centers for offering support are so dynamic and I think it's important if you're a health care giver and you've had a loss to reach out and not be uh, feel shy about feeling like you're backtracking in a way and getting help yourself yes yeah, so look for the sources that are available because I know that you're going to benefit and then you will find a, an avenue to help other people well, thank you for watching this video today. I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley with the Open to Hope Foundation, and we want to remind you that if you've lost hope, please lean on ours until you find your own, and God bless.